The next test is called the crank test, and that test will assess if the patient has a torn labrum in the shoulder. With this test, you can do it seated and supine. I'll start with it seated and then show it in a supine position. You start with the person, take the arm in the plane of the scapula up to approximately 165 degrees, flex the elbow, patients relax, and then I'll apply an axial load, a compression load, down to compress the humeral head into the labrum. With that, I will at the same time internally, externally rotate the shoulder as I'm holding it in the plane of the scapula 165 degrees and giving an axial load. If the test is positive, you'll feel clicking, the patient will have pain and possible apprehension. Again, this is looking for a labral tear in the shoulder. That's in a seated position. We'll show in the supine position next. Have the patient lie on her back. Again, it's a passive test. Arms in the plane of the scapula, approximately 165 degrees. Flex the elbow. Again, an axial load, compressing, and with this, internally and externally rotating. Feeling for a click, the patient may have apprehension. She may also have pain. She could have all three or any one of those three symptoms if she has a, a labral tear present. Again, that's called the crank test, looking for a labral tear.